so today is the 2nd of April 2017 it's 23 minutes past 7 um, I didn't it's day 2 today I didn't get a chance to record a um, video message yesterday um, it was a bit of a strange day really to be honest I'm very very grateful um, and I want to say thank you to everyone that turned up at um, Trafalgar Square to see me off yesterday for once I was actually lost for words with what to say <laughs> um, and I cycled all the way down to New Haven to get the ferry which didn't leave until half past 12 this morning so I got something to eat and then I went to sleep on the floor in the ferry station so I didn't um, I didn't have a chance to record anything yesterday and I was knackered to be honest um, today was a bit of a strange one as I got on the ferry I noticed there was two other bikes on the ferry um, two other cyclists and after everyone had left the ferry this morning myself and the two bikes were the only thing still there and these two guys came down um, Ben and Henry really really nice guys and they said they were riding to um, Montpellier and that they would um, ride the majority of the way to Paris with me today so I spent uh, the day riding with them and we got off the ferry at about 5 30 6 o'clock in the morning stopped off stopped at um, a bakeries in Dieppe and had a couple of croissants and a pan of chocolate and then we started cycling and we got a fair chunk of the day's ride done it was a great you know, it was really it was a really good morning it was really nice to meet um, you know other people and I kind of gave me a bit of a shock as to how enormous the challenge is considering they knew where this road was and I'd never heard of this route um, and they showed me where it was so I was really grateful for that um, but then it got a bit sour really after we'd stopped for lunch we set off again and they suggested that I follow the London to Paris route which is marked up all the way along um, the roads and that so that I could get to Paris which was a great idea so we were following that um, and we knew at a certain point that they would have to split off to go their own direction and um, when they thought it was time for them to split off and you know change their route to go to their um, end point for the day there was two different um, signs saying London to Paris one was further up hidden down a road to the right and the other one was straight ahead so after a long chat with the guys they suggested I followed the straight ahead road it was a nice smooth pass and the other one was a sign on um, just a, a side street road kind of thing um, and so I followed the straight road and after about an hour the track ended and there was no other directions so I tried to turn around and come back the way I came but I then got lost and so I've spent the last two or three hours trying to get myself onto various roads which will eventually take me into Paris and I massively lost sight of the fact that first of all today was one day I kept thinking back and the kind of attitude I had was that today was a shit day and everything had gone wrong where in reality that was just the afternoon um, because the morning was great and then out of just pure frustration I got my notebook out to find out that I'd written down the exact route I could take to Paris and um, with every single individual road name on and this would have saved me about two hours of hassle earlier when I thought I'd got lost because it literally just would have put me in the right direction so today I'm you know camped in a little car park um, I don't know about maybe 20 kilometers outside of Paris like the edge of Paris um, near a place called Petange or, or Curly or something like that um, so tomorrow morning when I get up then I'll cycle into Paris and to be honest I'm a little bit frustrated because I wanted to get to Paris on the first well the second day the first real day in Europe I don't know why mainly because it was I guess it's exactly a hundred miles from the, the port to the Eiffel Tower so I wanted to know that I could do that distance but that's definitely got in my head now and made me think that everything today has been a waste of time oh hold on the kettle's boiling sorry I'm very tired today I've just got the uh, dinner going which I'll show you in a second um, but yeah, I was just talking about how uh, I've just had a negative outlook on the day because, to be honest, I pushed myself too hard. My dad said not to do that. 
and I did um, all for this idea of um, getting to Paris for some reason on the second day, which is a bit bizarre, really. Um, but I'll get there tomorrow on schedule anyway. Just extremely tired because I got up at 6 a.m. to cycle. So what was I saying? Um, yeah, I'm just extremely tired because I got up at you know 6 a.m. to cycle. Well, I didn't get up. We got off the ferry at 6 a.m. to cycle, and I didn't stop until six o'clock this afternoon. So I won't be doing you know a day like that again um, because it is too much and it hasn't really accomplished anything. And the more and more tired I got, obviously the, uh, the more and more mistakes I made. Um, so it's kind of you know a product of its own situation really um side note these videos will get a lot more interesting i'm just very tired at the moment and i'm trying to get myself together before i get to paris tomorrow obviously i, I can't edit them at all so it was all going to be very you know off the cuff and just what i fancy talking about whenever i do uh video anything and then upload it to youtube uh if you're not already doing so follow me on the tracker you'll see today that i went back and forth for myself probably about eight or nine times which will be very frustrating but i wonder how many miles i actually uh, did end up doing in the end so yeah anyway it will be more positive i'm sure let me uh let me show you what i got for dinner just pasta and sausage living the life living the dream um, that's where the bike is and everything as you've seen and this is basically <laughs> some sort of like car park I guess and playground area I'm just waiting until the sun goes down a bit more and uh, then I can set the tent up for the night uh, slightly funny anecdote well it's not an anecdote slightly funny story um, <laughs> When I got here at six, I really, really, really needed to, let's say, relieve myself. And um, there wasn't really anywhere I could go. There was uh, people in the corner walking their dogs and someone else over there. So I found a spot and um, waited till everyone had like had gone. And uh, then suddenly <laughs> three motorbikes turned up with two people on each from one direction. Um, old man and his dog from another direction and the, he let the dog off the lead and the dog came running over to me and uh, two children kicked a ball over from the playground right as I was about to relieve myself. <laughs> so obviously uh, I didn't but that was probably the most awkward situation so far and then you have to sit there and kind of you know work out what you're going to do. There wasn't really anywhere else I could go. People were coming from everywhere when the place was absolutely dead quiet a second earlier so... <laughs> Yeah, that's going to be fun, um, experiencing that again. But I guess it's because I'm kind of near, you know, it's getting more built up where I am, but it's not exactly, you know, a major town yet. So uh, it'll be a lot easier when it is a major town and it'll be a lot easier when it's uh, in the middle of nowhere because there'll be no one else around. Anyway, um, yeah, there's not really anything else I can say. I'm just extremely tired. As you can hear in my... Uh, my voice so uh, yeah I'll see you guys soon